to start, where to start from, but you've obviously seen the clip from before this, and you know what I'm about to tell you, that we are having a new addition to our family. I'm so excited, you guys. I have been so excited since I found out. I've been a bit nervous. I've been a bit, you know, cautious. Um, but I'm also extremely, extremely excited that we are going to have a new member in this family. It is so surreal and it is such an exciting time for me, even though on my body it is such a stressful time. But I thank God for everything. Some of you guys have suspected for a long time. You guys leave comments all the time. And I have to sometimes like hide those comments because I don't want anybody just speculating before the right time. You know, um, as YouTubers, as um, bloggers, we live such an open life and such a public life. And sometimes like you feel like you just want to... I don't know, not hide, but just keep some things to yourself until the right time. Um, and sometimes people go through a lot. Sometimes um, things happen, life happens, and you don't want to go through it publicly. But I want to thank God, like, here I am so far on this journey. We're so excited. And I want to thank you for those of you who suspected, but you were helping me code it. Thank you so much. I just feel like pregnancy is... Um, Pregnancy is a thing that happens to a woman. Like, it is so public because you cannot hide it. Like, someone like me, I can't hide that I'm pregnant because my belly is huge. There are people that are due before me, but my belly is bigger than their bellies. So, it is so public. But then, it is such a personal, private thing that happens to a woman and her body. And sometimes you just want to keep it somewhere or just keep yourself away from the public but it's not possible even in your everyday life you still have to maybe go to work you still have to do school runs you still have to go to the market you cannot hide pregnancy is not one of those things that can easily be hidden some people are good at it some people have small bellies and they can just code 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 you have no idea till they drop that baby but especially because I'm living a bit of a public lifestyle, it's going to be difficult to do that because um, I attend events all the time. Um, it's part of my work. Um, I film, I do so many things that it will be difficult for you guys not to suspect or know that I am pregnant. It will show on the face that I have taken in. <laughs> That's not Yoruba what they say all the time. Do you guys watch Yoruba movies? Like when they in Yoruba movies they say moti taking or oti taking. I don't know what they are taking, but this is the video that confirms that moti taking. So I have taken in <laughs> and I am here to show the evidence of the taking. I want to say thank you guys for your support so far. Um, thank you for understanding why there have not been videos. Some of you understood, some of you did not understand. All the same, thank you so much for your support. I still remember when I, or how I found out basically that I was pregnant. Um, that was like maybe a few, maybe two months ago, three months ago, I can't remember. But do you guys remember my trip to Mozambique? That was the beginning of this pregnancy. When I went on that trip, um, in the vlog, I mentioned that I was having body aches, body pain, and I thought, and I mentioned that I thought I was getting old because I don't know why we have body pain after a flight. On that trip, we had to wake up early. We had late nights, and I was exhausted a lot of the time. Um, some of the time, the foods that I would normally gravitate towards, I was not interested in them. So. Even eating was a bit of a problem because I was disgusted by some food and I was excited about other foods. But he did not know, he did not click in Yemis's head that something is happening. I just thought it was just odd. You know when you're not thinking that far, we're just like, this is just odd. Am I getting old? Maybe I need to get fit because I was checking online and they're like, if you're not fit, any small thing you do, you'll be tired. So I was like, hey, let me see. You need to start jogging. You need to start walking. You need to start exercising. In fact, when you get home, register at the gym. That was my plan. And then, even on the trip, I took some clothes 
that I could not wear because it seemed like I was bloated um, on that trip. And I was like, why am I bloated? Okay, I'm not going to eat anything cheesy because I notice when I eat cheese, like I get bloated and I have constipation and everything. So I'm like, I'm going to be careful with my diet on this trip. But still, like, it was just like that. I could not wear a lot of the clothes I brought. I had to wear like boo-boos and free clothes just to, just to be comfortable. And then I was feeling a bit ill and I could not understand what was going on on that trip. I was always tired. Waking up in the morning, I'd die. <laughs> it was stressful. But I enjoyed this trip and everything. So when I got back from the trip, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought, okay, start exercising, start keeping fit, start walking, you know, just start getting active. Maybe that's why you're always tired. And then one day, Tito woke up in the morning. He just woke up randomly, pointed at my belly, and he was like, baby. I'm like, please, I don't know what cartoon you have been watching lately, but could see baby in Kong Kong. No baby anywhere. <laughs> My Yoruba is not that great. So he would do that like once in two days randomly, like from nowhere maybe. But he used to do it especially in the mornings. Immediately he wakes up. He would just point and say baby. And he would really point... He would not point at like my belly belly. He would point like at the lower region and be like, baby. So I was, I was, you know, after your child does that like three, four times, start getting worried. <laughs> so I was like, why is this all pointing at me and telling me baby, baby, baby? So I decided I was going to do a test, but it took me like maybe two weeks to decide I was going to do a test. And when I did the test, lo and behold, multi taking, you guys, I was bamboozled. <laughs> Not like the pregnancy fell from the sky, but I will, I will, I, I never spared it. <laughs> so in that moment, it just felt like, you know, when I don't know, but I just felt like my life is about to change. I started panicking. My life is about to change. I'm about to become a mother of two. Oh my God, am I ready? Like, see, I was panicking. Let me not even lie to you. But um, like I said, very excited at the, just the thought that there's somebody new going to join this family is just, just mind blowing. Very, very exciting. So yeah, that was how I found out I was pregnant and then, it was just like immediately I found out the sickness started. I was ill, sick, could not eat, vomiting, like all the things I did not experience with Tito, I was experiencing it. It was just a very, very tough time for me. I couldn't even open my emails. It was that bad. I would just lay on the bed all day, like as if I had malaria, like... It, it was just so horrible. I don't like it. I, it was strange. Do you know what? When I do like my pregnancy update videos, I'm going to explain better um, how it was. But it was just not a good time for me. I couldn't do anything. I was not productive. I remember when I was thinking what time that, oh, before my next pregnancy, I'm going to film in advance. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. For where? <laughs> Nothing, see, I could not do shishi. I could not even eat. I could not even cook for my family because it was that bad. My birthday was last week. It was on the 19th of October, but you guys, like I said, this pregnancy has been so interesting. I was battling with my hormones all through my birthday. I didn't even post a picture. In fact, the last time I posted on Instagram was maybe two weeks ago bad i know but i was struggling with my emotions you see you know they say emotions just bell up you hormones just bell up you you cannot do anything like i was just in a weird mood that i did not understand any small thing tears I think that's one of the frustrating things. Any small thing tears. If I wanted to be an actress, now is the perfect time because any crying role, I would take it easily. Small thing tears will come down my eyes. Just 
crying, crying, crying first, just so emotionally, a bunch of emotions and hormones and everything. But thank you to those of you that remembered my birthday, <laughs> because a few days before the birthday, I was actually very gingered, but by the time the day came along, I just could not do it. So thank you for those of you that remembered and sent me messages and, and sent me gifts. Um, so thank you guys so, so, so much. Going forward, we're going to have, of course, pregnancy content, which I'm excited about as well. Like <laughs> pregnancy updates, pregnancy fashion, pregnancy cravings, but that does not mean we're not going to have the normal videos. We're still going to have the recipes, the restaurant reviews, the cravings videos. Um, we're still going to have the vlogs and the normal um, content I have on my channel. Just that now we're going to sprinkle in some pregnancy gist inside. If you're pregnant, please leave me in the comments. I don't want to be pregnant alone. Like I need my community of supporters. If you're pregnant, leave it in the comments below. And as you guys have been following me on my journey, some of you have been here for a long time, pre-Tito era, pre-marriage era, and you are here for this new era. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So I just want to say thank you for following me on my journey. And then going forward, I would like your support. <laughs> And prayers because yeah some of you have been here and you've been patient because I used to be so consistent especially at the beginning of the year and last year 2017 but the past few months you guys pregnancy is not easy to so even wake up on some days now nah, fight <laughs> now <Nah>, struggle <laughs> I remember when um, I was pregnant uh, with Tito and I used to go to work every day. It used to be hell, but my boss was very understanding, was very patient. He used to allow me sleep. Like, you know when um, sometimes I would go to, there, there's this little filing cabinet office we had, like very small. I would go there, stuff myself inside and sleep or on my desk, just put my head on the table and sleep. He used to be so understanding. And now I just, when I, now that I'm pregnant again, I just remember those times of doing third mainland bridge because I was working in Lagos Island and I was living on the mainland. So the drive every day. <sighs> But for this one, I've been so tired. And when I think of those times, I'm just grateful that I can do the work that I like to do at my own pace because I've been maybe releasing videos once a week, sometimes once in two weeks. Like, what job will you have that will allow you to do like that? No, I don't think there's any job like that unless you're self-employed. So another thing is I'm, I'm grateful to have this career that I have and to be able to take this pregnancy or take every day at my own pace. I'm, I'm really, really grateful for that. So I just wanted this video to be a little reveal of our new addition and then thanking you for your support so far. And hopefully going forward, you continue to support. Put me and my family in your prayers. I put you guys in my prayers as well. Pray for us on this new journey and thank you. I don't know. I feel so shy making this video. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm shy. But thank you guys. See, tears already coming again. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.